Hi there, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air Signs. Welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. This is for your week ahead. Um, this message is a timeless, and we'll check out your current energy, what to look out for this week, and what is that advice. Uh, yes, okay, let's get to it. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Knight of Cups. So you've got that head down, keep pushing vibe going on right now. The Knight of Pentacles is all about steady, consistent effort. So you are putting in the work, even though it might not feel fast and flashy, you know that you're building something solid here. Uh, you've got your armor on, you know, you're loyal to your goals, just doing what needs to be done day in and day out. Okay. Uh, there's also the sense of looking ahead and thinking what's next with the three of wands. So whether you're actively job hunting or just keeping your eyes open for new opportunities, uh, the three of wands is, is something that's coming, right? It's, it's like you're putting yourself out there and waiting for the right opportunity to arrive. So you're ready for expansion and the energy around you is kind of saying it's on the way. Uh, with the knight of cups here, um, so alongside the steady work, there's this creative, passionate side um, also coming through. Uh, some of you could be mus musicians. Uh, the Knight of Cups brings that follow your heart energy, you know, whether you're in this creative field or maybe just finding joy in what you do. This, this soulful kind of vibe here. So you're not just doing things for the paycheck because it's actually, um, it, it, you're actually doing things because it means something to you. So you're in tune with this your pa with your passion. Okay, it's making your work feel um feel more fulfilling okay so what to look out for okay seven of swords eight of pentacles and eight of pentacles again okay so um yeah it's not uncommon to see two of the same tarot cards come out i like to blend my decks i use two decks at a time if you watch my previous videos you'll be able to see that okay so Hmm. The seven of swords here for what to look out for. So this week you might um, keep an eye out for anyone trying to pull a fast one on you. Okay. The seven of swords is kind of like a heads up that there could be some uh, shady behavior going on. So maybe someone's not being completely honest or maybe there's some kind of underhanded stuff happening at work. Either way, I feel like you need to stay sharp and kind of not let anything get in the way of any or just let anyone get away with anything sketchy. Okay. Uh, the eight of pentacles. So you're in this work mode, so especially when it comes to getting things in order financially, the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the time and effort to improve your situation. So whether that is, you know, paying out debt, um, working overtime, you know, repairing your credit, working hard to get your finances straight. Okay, you're grinding and it's paying off slowly and surely. Now with the Eight of Pentacles here, again, this is like a double message to me. So some of you have been working really, really hard, more hard work, okay? over time. So definitely in this picture, okay, you're probably putting in those extra hours, you know, whether it's at your job, maybe your side hustle. It's just one of those weeks where you're kind of really focused on getting ahead. And while it's great to see all that effort, I feel like you don't just don't forget to give yourself a break when you need it. Okay. So what is that advice? Oh, jeez. Sorry, I dropped my card. Okay, so three of pentacles. The Emperor and the Fool. So the Three of Pentacles is about collaboration. It's about problem solving. Uh, it's about teamwork, you know, using your skills to create something bigger. Um, so yeah, whether it's a group project or just kind of bouncing ideas off each other, I feel like don't hesitate to kind of lean on the people who can help and figure things out. Uh, you create a pro problem solving, you know, especially when it comes to those bigger pictures. Um, when it comes to the big, the big, blah, 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 the big picture, bigger pictures. Oh my gosh. When it comes to the big picture. So don't, don't be afraid to step into that role. Okay. Um, yeah, especially with the, with the emperor here, this is like being asked to take control and make decisions. So the emperor energy is about stepping up and owning your leadership quality. So whether that's work, uh, a work situation, maybe just, it could just be managing your own life. You know, I feel like spirits kind of nudging you to be the captain of your own ship. This is the time to kind of get clear and decisive. Okay. 
um, with a full card here. This is, uh, this is, I'm seeing this is kind of a little warning. Um, sorry, the fool is in the reverse. This is kind of like not to rush into anything impulsively. Okay. The fool kind of loves to take leaps, you know, but sometimes he can, that could be leading to stumble, right? So yeah, be adventurous, but just maybe look before you leap. Okay. Uh, this is like a little caution. Uh, yeah, just don't get yourself into something that maybe you didn't plan for, okay? Because the uh, the full card is is can be very impulsive, maybe a little naive too, a lot, quite naive actually. Okay, so yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.